Welcome to episode two of The Figo Show. Today we're gonna to be talking about working that butt and butternut squash ravioli. Figo means cool in Italian. Figo is a lifestyle and it's all about becoming the best version of yourself. We're gonna talk all things food and fitness while keeping it fresh. Welcome to The Figo Show. Hey guys, I'm Chelsea Davis and I am so excited about episode two. It is November of The Figo Show. We're gonna be talking about all the fall things, okay? Which brings me to the first thing, um, things that I'm really excited about right now. So, this healthy and delicious homemade pumpkin spice latte. I know, love that, right? Um, I took some 100% pumpkin puree and put that with some steamed milk in the microwave, if you can believe that, um, with some pumpkin pie spice, zapped it up, and added it to some super strong coffee, and oh my, it is so good. So I'm sampling mine, Trevor's gonna have one in a little bit. Trevor, you're gonna love it. Number two, things I'm excited about right now. Um, this tie-dye sweatshirt. So let me tell you a story because you guys that know me, everything comes with a story, okay? So doing hubby's laundry and um, he always leaves his chapstick in his scrubs. Um, God bless his soul, um, you know, because he might have his like, you know what, chopped off here soon because it ruins all my clothes when it goes through the washer. Mind you, you can't see like all those little spots all over your clothes before you put it in the dryer. So it sets. Moms, you know, whoever does laundry in your household, all right, I do my husband's laundry, he is blessed. So, um, I was very upset because this, this was a brand new sweatshirt. It was Hunter Forest Green when I got it. My best friend, um, Denise, helped me to bleach tie-dye this baby and it turned out really good. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever tried that, but like this is my big fall comfy sweatshirt right now. I'm loving it. Um, number three, the things I'm excited about right now. Um, I just finished this book, it was awesome. Those of you guys that know me that are my clients, you're gonna um, hear this all the time, but I love Matthew Kelly. Um, he's a Catholic speaker, and his new book he just released is called I Heard God Laugh. Um, it's like a 100-pager. You will fly through that thing. You can download the audio book if you just like need some inspiration driving to or from work. Um, but if you don't even read the whole book, I swear, and you read the last chapter, he's talking all about like the busyness in life, so we feel uh, successful are we, um, the pre-conceived um, notion is that we feel um, successful when we're busy. But the problem is like modern day society is, is telling us this, but it just creates that noise in our lives. Start your day every day with a prayer, um, meditation. It's gonna help you to be um, more intentional with your day. You're gonna feel so much better when you delve into that spiritual pillar. Um, this book just really rocked my world. I loved it. So thank you, Matt, for putting that out. Um, I will um, link to that book below if you guys are interested in it. But right now, we're gonna move on to our workout, Figo Fit. Let me get a sip of this latte here. Mm, love that, that was really good. So, we are gonna grab, oh my gosh, I totally forgot to show you guys this. I was sitting on this. Speaking of pumpkin spice, Wear your mask, kids. We're living in the middle of a pandemic. This is my pumpkin spice mask. Gotta love it. P-S-M, pumpkin spice mask. Okay, let's grab, where's my booty band? Where did I put that? Yes, thank you. Okay, so this is something that I'm going through right now. My hip flexors are feeling so, so, so tight. And what's gonna happen is when your hip flexors are tight, you're not activating your glutes, you're not doing exercises that strengthen your glutes, this can lead to lower back injury, low back pain, strain, all the above. So you really wanna keep these hip flexors opened up and you wanna activate and strengthen your glutes. So what do you do, right? So you're gonna do a leg workout, let's say, or full body workout, whatever it is. You wanna do dynamic stretching. Those of you guys that are Figo followers, I always do walkouts before I start my workout. So basically all that is, is let's make sure I have my space here. Inhaling, reaching the arms up, exhaling, reaching down towards the floor. 
yes, I can do this in these jeans, okay? This is called a Jersey Turnpike, okay? Just so you guys know. So you take your hands down, walk them out until you're in a plank position, okay? And then if you want, I did this a little too prematurely, sorry, to get that nice hip flexor stretch in, you're going into a nice lunge position. Move through the stretch. That's what a dynamic stretch is, guys. So moving through the stretch, you hit the right side, hit the left side, okay? Feel that nice opening in that hip flexor, okay? And then you bring it back up to the top, roll it on up, and you go through five of those. So that is your dynamic warm up that you do before a workout, um, stretching, opening up those hip flexors. So what you're gonna do next is go through your activation series, okay? So a couple different ways we're gonna activate the glutes here. I have all of my clients start with this nowadays. So you're gonna do um, outer thigh raises. So you do 10 here, <sighs> trying to keep your balance. You can always hold on to a chair or something if needed. So you do 10 of those, 10 pulses, and then you're gonna do 10 to the back. So you hit 10 right here, lifting as high as you can, feeling that nice squeeze in the glute with 10 pulses, okay? We did the right side, you'll switch to the left side. Ultimately, it'd be awesome to do two sets of that. So you do that, walkouts, do your activation series before you even start your superset workout, your circuit workout, whatever it is, guys. Um, the other thing that's really good would be to rock out some hip bridges. Maybe we can show that in a future Figo Fit workout. Um, I don't got the time today because we got a lot of stuff to cover, but I did really want to show you guys how to work the glutes. Yeah. Um, haven't done that since an eighth grade dance. Come on up to my kitchen. Let's go. All right. Welcome to the Cucina Tariana. I'm going to be making you guys a PSL, pumpkin spice latte, homemade. It is so easy, so delicious. This is kind of my version on the uh, Starbucks version, if you will. Sorry, Starbucks, I'm about to throw your butt under the bus. Um, do you know that a grande pumpkin spice latte has how many, Trev, 380 calories? We just did the research. As well as um, 50 grams of sugar. That's insane. So make it homemade. This is like a snack, people, okay? You get real pumpkin, whole milk, and um, pumpkin pie spice in the jar. Check below for the measurements. Um, what I actually did is I blended this baby up ahead of time, threw some saran wrap on it, fridged it, I got my base. Now you're gonna throw it in a mason jar, and we're gonna actually do not put that in the microwave, okay? Just do not do everything I say. Do as I say, not as I do. We're gonna throw this in the microwave for about 45 seconds, so let's do this. All right, perfect. So we got that warmed up. That was like our quick steam, if you will. So now I'm gonna put the lid on this puppy and we're gonna shake the shit out of this thing. So what we're doing is we are achieving the top layer of latte, which is foamed milk, as well as steamed milk. We have a little bit of coffee here. This is strong brewed Keurig coffee deliciousness. Um, normally you should do espresso, um, but my husband took the espresso maker to work because he went through a latte phase with his um, office mate for like a month. So it's been there for three years. Yeah. All right. Ooh, look at that. Looks really good. So pumpkin, you're gonna get your vitamin A, you're gonna get your carotenoids in there. So for you, Trev, we're doing the whole bit. We're doing the whipped cream, and we're doing the cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice. This is so good. But I don't need sweet. Like, I didn't put a ton of sugar in this. Um, some of the recipes I was looking at, you dump sugar in it. If I have a cappuccino or a latte, I am just milk and espresso, baby. So Trev, here you go, cheers your homemade PSL, you betcha. All right, so we are here making some butternut squash ravioli. This is a crowd pleaser, guys. Um, you could bust this out for Thanksgiving, um, for any sort of like a fall specialty dinner, impress your friends. Um, I decided just to skip forward to this part because I'm gonna be doing a full immersion 
live YouTube uh, class and I'll be showing you exactly how to start from scratch with this. You can subscribe to emails on figofresh.com. Hey, film it over here so that you can get the ingredients list and be in the know for this live ravioli class. We made the pasta, fridged it for 30 minutes, or you can do it overnight. So yeah, so bust this recipe out, hashtag Figo food. Okay, you know what? You kids are driving me nuts. It is time. It is 4.30 and I don't care. Cheers kids. It is one o'clock. Okay, so we put the filling in here. I folded it over. This is making a gorgeous, gorgeous half moon shape. You gotta pinch all around. This is ravioli di zucca, baby. Stingy bene, squeeze it good. That's what I learned in Italy when I was in Italian culinary school. Oh, look at this delicacy right here. And I'm laughing so hard because this is life, guys, you know. It ain't all rainbows and butterflies, okay? This pasta, you can see it's kind of a dark day here, dreary day. It didn't turn out the best. It could have definitely used another egg, um, maybe another hit of olive oil, I'm not sure, but these are our wraps, guys. They are so gorgeous, little half moon shapes. Use a cute little cookie cutter. If you use a bigger cookie cutter, you're gonna get more pasta in there. So make sure you guys tune in on Friday, November 20th to the full immersion RAV class. But I do wanna leave you guys with a little song, songbird that I am. Um, because you know, this pandemic is tough and I'm praying for you guys all out there. And this is a song that I busted out at a wedding or two, but it makes sense for right now. I pray you'll be our eyes. And watch us where we go And help us to be wise In times when we don't know Let this be our prayer When we lose our way Lead us to a place, guide us with your grace, give us faith so we'll be safe. Celine Dion, I love you so much. <laughs> Guys, stay Figo, stay fresh, kids. This house is a, sh a shit show. Actually, it's a freak show. Welcome to the freak show. Love you guys. Mwah. Happy November and have a happy Thanksgiving.